everyone, it's Joy here for Honeybee Stamps. Today I created two cards with the Lovely Layers Fall Foliage Die Set, and I used some Distress Oxide Sprays to create some really fun, unique looks on these leaves. So here is that die. I'm gonna use just one leaf. I'm gonna be using the maple leaf, but as you can see in that die set, there is a bunch of other foliage that you can be using. I'm also using the Sweater Weathers stamp and coordinating die. So I die cut my leaves from white cardstock. I did a 110 pound, just a little bit thicker. And then I have my little spritz box that I use and I will be using Distress Oxide sprays in Squeezed Lemonade, Crackling Campfire, and then Fired Brick. And I'm just gonna kind of spray all over this. now. I do also add a little bit of water with my Distress Sprayer. And what I noticed is, number one, if you're not using watercolor cardstock, you know, be, be sparingly on the water. Um, also, if you use a lot of water, it's going to really activate that oxide ink. And so if you wanted a little more splotchy looking, I would do less water. If you want a more smooth look, I would add a little more water. So I have 10 of these leaves that I'm gonna be doing and I'm just kind of getting the base colors down that I want. Then I'm gonna come back in and just kind of do the splattering effect with these same oxide sprays. And I do have to say, I do really love these three colors together. The bottom of my box was getting really, really wet. So I just threw in a paper towel because I am using a lot of this product but I was having so much fun with this because I don't feel like you can go wrong. I just, you know, you just have to kind of lay down the colors that you really like and just go from there. So now I'm gonna start back over with just the splattering effect. So I'm just taking the lid off of each one of the sprayers and just tapping the colors onto the leaves. And so then that gives it a much, uh, a bigger splotchier look. And if it was too much, then I added a little bit of my Distress Sprayer just to kind of smooth that out a little bit. And I just went leaf by leaf and really had a ton of fun with this, you guys. This was so quick to do. And I just love how Distress inks look and I love these Distress Oxide Sprays. So let's get a last few of these finished up. I think that Squeeze Lemonade is really gorgeous on that background but this one I sprayed a little bit, bit with my Distress Sprayer because some of those spots were just too much for what I was going for. Obviously it's a personal thing, so whatever you like, definitely go that route. Let's add uh, some more of these leaves in here. I did decide to spray a little bit more of the fired brick on that bottom part because I wanted a little bit more red. And this one I added some more water and I'm just letting it move around on the leaf. And then I'm gonna bring in my heat tool just to get that to dry a little bit quicker. And I definitely wanna set these aside to dry. Um, I basically took my heat tool to heat them up to get them nice and dry, but if you don't wanna do that, just set them aside for a little bit and um, let all of that ink dry. Now I'm also gonna be using some Distressed Foundry Wax. I'm gonna be using Mind Distressed Foundry Wax. I've used it a few times lately and I am just so in love with it, you guys. I almost forgot. I am using um, Imagined Shimmer Craft Spray Sparkle and I'm spraying all the leaves with this and it just gives this nice dusting of sparkle over the whole thing. It's super, super fine and it is so gorgeous, you guys. Okay, so here's that foundry wax that I was talking about. I'm just gonna squirt this on my work surface. I'm using my finger and I'm just gonna take this on the edges of the leaves and then we're gonna heat this up. So you definitely need to heat it to activate it. And it's so, so pretty when you do. And something I noticed is that the heavier you go, the more of that color you're gonna get, obviously. Um, and when it melts, it just is much cooler when it's thicker. But I did, uh, I actually was pretty light-handed on most of my leaves. But as I'm heating this up, you guys are gonna see how that just melts. And it melts really, really quickly. Uh, much faster than I would say like an embossing powder. So you don't need to have the heat tool on the image for very long. So I'm just using my reverse tweezers to grab that to keep my fingers out of the heat and then getting that nice and melted. Okay, I want these leaves to pop. So I want to adhere them to a black piece of cardstock. So I have two cards. My first card 
it's going to be over the whole background. And then my second card, it's only gonna be on part of it. So I also want these popped up with foam tape because I do want them to have some dimension. I love that when you have images like this and you're laying it on your background cardstock. I think having them popped up with foam tape just adds a really nice dimension and it doesn't look like it's just patterned paper. It looks like these leaves are just sitting on there. But look at how pretty they look against that black cardstock. Obviously I have these hanging off the edge. I will be trimming all of these down and then I'm gonna add one more piece of a leaf at the top area of this card panel. For the next card panel, I'm trimming it down slightly, well, quite a bit smaller than an A2 sized because I want a straight line at the top where I'm gonna trim the leaves off so I can adhere my sentiment. You guys will see what I mean in a minute, but it's different than just this full coverage on here. So I'm gonna add this last leaf and then trim that off and then we can work on that second one. So there's that piece of cardstock trimmed down smaller. The other one that I was working on, I actually did trim that one down slightly smaller than an A2 size, about a quarter of an inch or about a, about a 16th of an inch on all sides because I'm going to adhere that to a white A2 size card base and I do want a white frame around the outside. So let me just get these adhered down again with foam tape and then I can do the trimming just to get all of the excess off. And then I'm going to adhere this to a black A2 size card base. And you'll see why I do that in a minute. But first I wanna add some, uh, I, th I think these are copper liquid pearls from Ranger Ink. I just felt like that went really well. And I'm just gonna add some dots all over the background just in the black on the black cardstock. Definitely make sure this dries overnight because th these do take a minute to dry. I would say give it at least a few hours, but overnight before you're gonna put it in an envelope or something like that. Okay, let's get the sentiments done. These are from the Sweater Weather uh, stamp set and coordinating die. I'm going to um, do this on black cardstock. I prepped it with a powder tool. I'm using Honeybee Stamps clear ink. I'm going to be using some white embossing powder. I thought the white would be really pretty popped against the black background and then all of those gorgeous leaves. Of course, I'm using the coordinating dies. I love coordinating dies for my sentiments. So I'm going to tape those in place with low tack tape and then run that through the die cut machine. Once I have those die cut, I can get those in place. So for the full background, I'm gonna place this with some foam tape. And I'm actually gonna use two pieces of foam tape in the center, because remember those leaves are popped up with foam tape and I want the sentiment to be above the leaves. So it needs a double piece that's gonna to be touching the black background. And I'm just gonna center that and look at how pretty that white is. I love it. Okay, so here's where I'm going to adhere this to just another A2 size black piece of cardstock directly to it. That way I can have that straight line at the top of the where the leaves are for the most part. And then I can add my sentiment right above that. This one says happy fall y'all. And the other one says fall is in the air, which I totally love. Now I'm going to adhere these to my white A2 size card bases. This one is gonna cover the full card base. And then the second card is going to have a little bit of that white frame around the outside, which I think really kind of makes this card pop. And then these cards are completely finished, but look at the shimmer on those leaves. That Distress Oxide is so, the Distress Oxide spray is so pretty. You have some of that foundry wax on the edges. Of course, the black cardstock, the white sentiments, I think everything just came together wonderfully. So I hope that you guys like this project and I hope that you feel inspired. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.